Time for us to get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is my history. I was Trouble, never I can't born help right in now. slavery. Anyway, when I speak, I mean I am therefore we are a people whose legacy transcends 400 years of European captivity. This is my history, rooted in African spirituality. Preaching and teaching to love the original self. Respect nature, ancestor veneration. Seek the righteous path to knowledge. Wisdom and understanding of life and death. Oh, it's because we live forever. As long as our children speak about our African. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water Come on, come on, drink your water But first, take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take, take your, your breath and drink some water Take your breath Drink, 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 drink or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take a breath, take your breath. Take now, your breath. grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour, pour some, some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink Now move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water Bam Just move your body Drink, 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 drink or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Lift and pour yourself some water Pour Move your body, drink some water Move it Raise your glass and toast your ancestors Breathe, lift, move, toast but remember to stay healthy, remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Take your breath. Take it. 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 Take Drink, 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 drink your water. Take your breath, take your breath, take your breath. Lift and pour, lift it. Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift and pour. Move your body. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? 
drink your water Drink, 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 drink Drink your water Oh, family, it is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty In the home of the stubborn minority In the place where your hustle builds muscle This is Jami Journey Media I am your host, Brother Hatim Of course you know that this is a Heart of a Simba production all day, air day. And we want to give all of the Ujima babies a round of applause. <laughs> give it up for them. Give it up for them. They deserve it. Ujima, Ujima, it is your day. Ujima born. Ujima babies, it's your day. Hey, hey, hey. All right. And of course, you know, we strive, strive, strive over here to blow up all your old paradigms. Family, we gotta get rid of some of these paradigms. I know they holding us back. We trying to build something that is everlasting. We're trying to build something that will improve the lives of all those that are involved with the culture family. And that's what we're doing right here at Giami Journey Media. So today, without any further ado, because like I said, the streaming time is kind of limited now, right? My streaming time is kind of limited now. So you know, I got to go on and get through, you know, get done with the show. Um, but anyway, the, the the rant today is called, and I want to, I want to, I want you to understand, stop being afraid of the work. Not work, it's the work. Everybody say it with me, the work. Stop being afraid of the work, okay? Stop being afraid of the work. That is the rant of the day, because I want to distinguish between the work and work, all right? There's a big difference between the work and work. Stop being afraid of the work, okay? All right, now, I want you to make sure you grab your Nguza Saba Challenge uh, Self Mastery Journal so that you can write with me today's date. For those of you that don't know the date, the date is 2, check this out, 2, 2, Two, two, dash six. Once again, the day is two, 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 dash six. That's a, that's a nice little number there. All right. So, anime, if you could get them ready for me, get them ready for me, girl. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Can we hit it, please? You there? You said you doing the symbol? Oh my god. Oh my god. My son trying to kill me. All right. All right. I, I'm going to try to focus. I'm going to try to focus. Let me focus. Focus out there. Focus. All right. I'm just seeing something over here that my son didn't do that's kind of it's very irritating. And I can't keep my eye off it. But we're going to have to do this. It's the proper time. Proper time. Proper time. Proper time. Proper for the day. Proper for the day. Get ready. Get ready. Here you go. You don't give someone a goat for a gift and still hold on to the rope. <laughs> you don't give someone a goat for a gift and still hold on to the rope. That is the proverb of the day. And tell me, what does it mean to you? It's the proverb of the day. Proverb. Proverb, 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 proverb. So take the time right now to go on and write that down. This is a writing prompt. Go on, what does it mean to you? That's the most important part. What is the lesson you get out of it? And don't be shy, family. Um, share your insight because you never know how your insights will affect a person. Trust me, you never know. A goat for a gift. And still hold on to the rope. I'm going to read that for y'all again. I should have had it written out in the first place. It says, you don't give someone a goat for a gift and still hold on to the rope. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, so um, anime, baby, if you could.
could you uh could you move us to the next piece please so we can get these so we can get these people's off to their adventure today Folk till time, folk till time, folk till time, family. Grab your journals, get ready. Here come the folk till. Yesterday we did the two frogs. Today we're doing the wolf and the fox. At one time, a very large and strong wolf was born among the wolves, who exceeded all his fellow wolves in strength, size, and swiftness, so that they unanimously decided to call him Lion. The wolf, with a lack of sense, a proportioned to his enormous size, thought that they gave him this name in earnest and leave his own race consorted exclusively with the lions. An old sly fox seeing this said, may I never make myself so ridiculous as you do in your pride and self-conceit. For even though you have the size of a lion among wolves in a herd of lions, you are definitely a wolf. Man, I hope you get the message, get the message. Ah, give it to him. Once again, the folktale name is the wolf and the fox. The wolf and the fox. Another writing prompt. The wolf and the fox. Can you get the lesson? Because a lot of us is missing some of these simple lessons. These little lessons that we should have been getting as children from stories being told around the fire. You know what I'm saying? You know, we can replace the fire with the TV, you know, and, and, and we got other people telling um, our kids stories. I'm guilty of it, too. They telling our kids stories that aren't really designed for them and their success. All right. But anyway, so now it's time for us to do the rant. I need we need to get into the rant. So, Anna, can you get everything ready for me, baby, please. I need you to work on that. Um, can you. Uh, can I get my war horn, please? Can I get my war horn, please? All right. And what about my theme music? Thinking all the damn time. Thinking all the damn time. That's what I do. I think, I think, I think that's what I do. So this morning, I woke up early, early, right? You know, because like I said, I, I, I've been going to sleep early. So I, I'm, um, I, we had our uh, mindset meeting last night. We got my mindset. And I went to bed. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, since I went to bed early, I woke up. I went to bed like two hours early. So I woke up. Um, well, actually, we finished our meeting about 7. So I went to bed before 8 o'clock, So which was kind of early. So I woke up like an hour, hour and a half early, um, you know, just out of the sleep because I, I broke my, I'm breaking my pattern and stuff like that. So um, I woke up and the dog came to me and said, uh. What you going to talk about? Well, Ujima is collective work and responsibility. But I'm seeing, a, I'm, you know, because like I said, working with young people as well as working with some adults, I'm seeing people that are afraid to do the work. They want the success, but they're afraid to do the work. You know what I'm saying? And so we want to look at why they are afraid to do the work. But first, I want to distinguish between work and the work. All right, work is what you do. For others, okay? And I ain't talking about others. Uh, you, work is what you do for others. People pay you a little bit for your time. It's not really worth it. So that's work. The work is what you do for yourself. What you do for yourself and your tribe. What you do for yourself and your family. What you do to make yourself better. What you do to help yourself grow. What you do to help yourself mature. What you do to help yourself become a better person. That's the work. That's what we put here for. We are supposed to fulfill our purpose. The work is you working on building up the person that is that was sent here to fulfill a mission. What's your mission, family? As, as, as my brother in Ghana say, what's your major? You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all running around here majorless. What's your major, right? That's the work. Work is where you go and you do something for somebody else and you help them fulfill their dreams and stuff like that. And they outside, they don't benefit you. In many cases, they take away from you. But the work, a lot of people are scared of the work. You have been taught to be scared of the work. Why? Because if you were to focus on the work, if they had a large amount of our people focusing on the work, we would not be able to focus on their work that they need to maintain everything that they have in place to keep us locked in. 
They would have to come at us full force. They would have to come and really, really start, you know what I'm saying? Because if you if you looked at the black power movement, right? When you look at the black power movement, what stopped the black power movement, right? Because they realized that it was a lot of people focusing on the work. So they had to find a way to stop that. Right. They had to find a way to stop that. They came at it full force. They came at it with jobs. They came at it with just straight attacks. They came at it with framing and and and, and cointail and all this. They, they had to stop it. Right. Because too many people was focusing on the work. They only want a few of us. They only want a few of us. But they know that a few of us are going to have to focus on it. And I need you to understand the difference between work and the work. So. You know, and what I'm seeing is that people want to be successful, but they don't want to do the work. They scared of the work. Why? Because they don't think that the work is going to pay for itself. They don't think that the work is valid. They they don't they they don't think that people will uh, 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 believe in them about this work or or really support them in the work. Now, I tell you all the story oftentimes about myself where I really wanted to do something like, you know, after I figured out I didn't want to be an engineer, I'm like, I don't want to do all that shit. I was really thinking about doing philosophy. I was, you know, and comparative studies, you know, but you know, the first thing that you're asked around the black folks, dinner table, when you were on, you know, holidays, you know, what you going to school? You going to school? Yeah, good, 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 good to go to school. What you going to school for? Comparative studies. Nigga, what you say? The hell is comparative studies? You know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to fight. I didn't want to have to. I didn't want to have to go home during Thanksgiving and fight. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I said, but, but brother, how Tim, you graduated with a, a degree in Black Studies. By that time, I was. I just figured out I need to do what the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I actually, if I went in with the intention of being a philosopher, if I had that intention, if I had the idea, if I would have had that full knowledge doing the work right but in this paradigm that we are in this is why we always talk about blowing up those old paradigms in this paradigm that we are in you are not allowed to focus on the work you have to focus on work right you have to focus on work because your culture or the people that's in the culture that has been given to you have been designed, have been programmed to believe that once you start working on the work, it's frivolous. It's stupid. You don't need to be working on you, you fool. You need to be working for these white folks getting this money so that you can live a better life. Not realizing that oftentimes that when we get and we start doing work we have to sell more than just our time we end up selling our souls we end up getting stuck in places that we don't like so what happens we start to deteriorate we start to te deteriorate right we start to we, we we start to indulge in things that 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 makes the day move past faster right and then sometimes some of us get caught up in oblivion we're looking for something that we could just make ourselves disappear. You got to you just just take a look around you sometime and look at how many people have, in a sense, just surrendered because they don't want to give in, but they don't want to die. See, because not giving in means that you, if you don't believe that what you are doing is worth anything, if you don't believe that what you are doing is bringing value, you don't see any possible way that you can survive doing it. So what do you do? Either you give up and lay down and die, or you start to steal. You start to do shit wrong. And that's where they get us at, family. We got to stop being scared of doing the work and start understanding that when we start doing the work, what we start doing is that we start developing ourselves and we become more valuable and we become more valuable to the people around us, the people in our culture, as well as to the people outside our culture. And that you can monetize. That you could trade on. You understand what I'm saying? So now, Let's go and look at some of these questions that I got here. Some of these questions that I got as far as I forgot to start the clock. Some of the questions. Um, but let me let me go and read through this a little bit. I've always said that it's not good enough to just want to be successful. 
you must always want to be the best. However, many people want success, but they are afraid of being challenged beyond their comfort zone. They want the trappings of success, but they don't want to do the work. They are afraid to push themselves beyond their current comfort zone and grow. All right, so I have to write it like this, right? Why do I have to write it like this? Because a lot of people that are reading this are looking for the monetary success. I mean, that's it. All right, I just want the money. Not realizing there's something deeper when you come to Gianni Journey. So I got to fool them with the write-ups, and then they come on in, and then next thing you know, I got them, right? Wait, hold on. He ain't talking about just monetary success. Now, get don't get me wrong. When you do what we're talking about right, when we do, not you, just you, but when we, when you and your tribe do what I'm talking about, the monetary compensation can come. The ability or the ability to develop resources that you can trade will come. But you have to know this. You have to go in. You have to be, you have, you have to hone that belief and you have to work with it in faith, in good faith, in a mining. Understanding that what you're developing is developing value. And then you have to figure out how to build the team around that so that y'all can start spreading the word. All right. I mean, I mean, I mean, we've seen it happen with hip hop. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess people think I mean, maybe we are in a time where people just think that hip hop always was or what the, what a lot of people listen to is rap music. It always was. No, there was a time when people looked at us and told us in my generation, this shit is a fad. It's going to go away. I don't know why you wasting your time. Now, this is a billion multi billion dollar industry. From clothes, from the influence that it has on 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 on, on culture, um, to the the to, to to the music, you know what I'm saying? To the all the other stuff that people are making money around the whole concept of hip hop. But it started with a group of people that was willing to do the work. They refined themselves and they refined their skills. Now, where it went and where it's going with some of the people that's picking up afterwards, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother discussion. But I'm talking about from the beginning, from the roots of it, right? So for those of us that are in doubt, all we got to do is look at look at what, what happened with hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? A few people took it serious enough to and, and held on to it long enough for other people to be like, hey, something here, some magic. But anyway, everyone has a level at which they work their best. If you don't challenge yourself, you will never break out of your comfort zone and reach your true potential. And if you have never worked outside your comfort zone, you may have never even realized your full potential. Many people are running around here running on quarter tank. They, are, they have not even explored their full potential because they have become used to being comfortable. When you are in this culture, when you are really embrace this culture of, of being awake, being, not just being woke, being conscious, right? When you embrace this lifestyle, Right. This forces you to push yourself beyond your limits. Right. You know, I I, I got to write now. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to put books together because there, there was nothing to, to really directly deal with, with what I'm doing or to at least get the idea that other people out here that have something to say can also publish their own shit. Right. I had to get a blog. I, I had to 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 start to start podcasting. Right. I had to start getting these ideas out and start trying to build an audience around what I'm doing. I had to. I had to push myself up out of my comfort zone. I had to start getting used to getting up and doing something every day. I had to. Right. I had to. Why? Because it pushes me beyond my comfort zone. And in that, there is a growth for me. You know, I, 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 I'm so, yeah, I'm doing it to bring value to others. But in it comes a growth for myself. And that shit feels good. Right. Every day I get to I get to learn something. I get to learn something new. I get to apply a skill that I have been building on and building on and building on every day. People, you know, and a lot of people be concerned, you know, because like I said, uh, some people, you know, when I, I, I have some discussions with some of my tribe sometime and I'll be like, I don't give a fuck how many people listen. Excuse my, you know, well, you already know I cuss, so I ain't got to say that, but I give a fuck how many people even listen. Why? Why? 
because I am demonstrating something and the few that do listen will be able to pick up and do what I do because they see me do it. They, they, they got a history of me doing it. We've been doing this every day for six years and sometimes two to three times a day. Come on now. Come on now. So I, we push ourselves outside our comfort zone. And outside our comfort zone is where we find success. We don't find success within our comfort zone. You find success in new territory. You find something to grow on in new territory. You understand what I'm saying? You're pushed. And you push yourself. And you need to surround yourself with groups of people that's going to help you in your pushing. That's going to challenge you into your pushing. This is why I brought up the mindset. Right last night, I was keeping notes in my mindset. And one of the questions that the, the accountability person asks is, is, what are your goals for next week? What do you plan to accomplish by next week? And you held accountable, Right? You know what I'm saying? Some people, a lot of us are just used to throwing shit out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to being held accountable, it's a whole nother thing. See, that being held accountable is somebody willing to hold you to the work. <laughs> See, because you don't mind being held accountable at work, right? But when it comes to the work, you don't think that you need to be held accountable because, you, you, know, you know, you're doing this for your tribe, family. Hold on, because I'm always looking uh, for ways to improve myself and my tribe, I try new things all the time. Sometimes these efforts fail miserably. Like, I don't fail in miserably at learning how to do ads. This shit is expensive. You know what I'm saying? As y'all see, I'm cutting some shit off, but I got, to, I got to master these ads. Because although it's failing miserably, we are getting out there, and I'm learning. But anyway, I mean, there's other things that I fail miserably at, too. This whole streaming shit. You know what I'm saying? I done figured out how to do it, but as far as getting that advertisement out there and letting people know what we're doing, we're failing miserably. But that don't stop me. I'm learning. It's not failure. It's failure. I find feedback. But even my failures can teach me something valuable about what it takes to succeed in business, life, or just about anything else I attempt. By failing on a regular basis, I learn what does not work and what does work. This gives me data that I can use to move towards greatness. In Jami, we teach that there is no failure, only feedback. I just have to open, I just have to be open enough to receive the information, then put the information to work so that I have, that I and my tribe can benefit. Here are some questions to wrestle with and if you are in a place of wanting success without putting the work in. Because some of us, we get in there sometime, we in there sometime, we're not. So here's some questions. Grab your Nguza Saba Challenge handbook, family, your, your um, not the handbook, self-mastery journal. Let's go. Here go some questions for you. Damn, I'm at 16 minutes. Good God Almighty. I'll be running my mouth. What is one thing you want to accomplish in your life, but you are afraid of doing the work? What are some of the fears you have and how do you push through them? I'm asking you how, you know, when you had those fears, what are some of the things you do to push through them? We're going to look at some other stuff. What do you think is the reason people want to want success but don't want to do the work it takes? That seems like an easy question, right? Come on now, but work with it. What are some of the things that you have been afraid to do? And last one, what does failure, what does fear of failure do to you? All right, so now, in this paragraph, I get kind of raunchy, but go on, bear with me. I'm not one to sugarcoat anything. I just, I say it like it is, and even though, for some, what I share here may make them upset or get them upset, however, I might have I said that wrong. You will find very little fluff in my writing. If you are prepared to do the work needed for success, I wish you the best, but if you are just full of shit, and want to want the trappings of success, but don't want to do the work needed, then please stop reading now. Because you, one, don't want to push yourself. Two, don't want to put off pleasure today for the sake of success tomorrow. Three, are afraid of pushing through the negative emotion and using your discipline and self-control to move you into the life you want. For those of you ready to overcome and do the work, listen up. Here are some hints on how to break through the fears. 
Remember, successful people take action. We talked about that yesterday. Take an action. Find yourself a role model who is doing what you want to achieve or something close to it and imitate, imitate, imitate. Three, feeling isn't the enemy. We already talked about. Failure is feedback. Fearing to start is the enemy. Those are the three. Those are three hints. Now, there's many more, but you can start with those. Work on those. One, remember successful people take act. Take some action. Take, in some cases, take massive action. Just don't, don't hurt yourself. Take action, right? Remember, we, we talk about taking one small step at a time, right? What can you do for two minutes today, four minutes tomorrow, eight minutes the next day, all the way up to um, 120 minutes, two, two for self-help process. You've got to be working at least two hours a day on you and once you get to the two two hours the other hours are going to start making themselves manifest trust me all right now find yourself a role model who is doing what it is you want to achieve or something close to it and imitate 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 don't be scared to ask questions don't be scared to you know get a mentor get you a coach you know what i'm saying get somebody that's gonna hold you accountable last failing isn't the enemy failure is feedback Fearing to start is your enemy. So identify your true enemy, right? Once you identify your true enemy, it makes it easier for you to win the battle. All right, so now, uh, anime, uh, if you could, baby, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I could, can I have my theme music? Thinking all the time. Thinking all, the time. Thinking all, the time. all the time, I'm thinking. My mind is like... A flower in bloom, and as we say in Giame, class is dismissed. Now get your ass up out my classroom. All right, family, grab your glass. We are about to do our health drink. All right, those of you that are new to Giame Journey, you know what I'm saying? We do the water song at the beginning so that you can drink your water, and we can throw out those reminders about um, what it is you should be doing. You know, Cleve, Cleve done came up with those new gallons, so I'm going to go and mix some of this old with some of this new. See, let, let them go in there and see what they do. Can this elder, can this elder tell this young person some stuff? All right, but anyway, um, so we are going to, we start off with the water song to remind you of the four parts of the, you know, the four pillars of health. And also, you know, get you kind of hyped up for the show. But we require, I ain't going to say require, but. We request that you also have a health drink with us because if we stay healthy, we could better serve our tribe and we can also serve our ancestors and our creator a whole lot better if we are in, in full working shape. All right. But anyway, so we call it on the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. Oh, my fault. My fault. Let me, let's take a let's take a couple of second break because I need to get some stuff ready. Um, Where we at? Uh, There we go. Minute by minute, minute by minute, hour by hour, hour by hour, you lose your history, you lose your, history. You lose your power, you lose your power. Minute by minute, minute by minute, hour by hour, 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 hour. by hour, you lose your faith, you lose your faith, you lose your, faith. You lose your power, you lose your power. If it is to be, if it is to be, it's up to me, it's up to me. I feel good about myself, I feel, I feel good, good about, about myself. myself. I feel good about the people around me, I feel, I feel good, good about the people around. Me.
like to call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. To total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. I pledge to study and discipline myself. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. Because my people need strong and Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. I pledge to live my life standing tall. I pledge to live my life standing tall. For a person on his knees is not respected. For a person on his knees is not respected. If I am challenged, if I am challenged, I must say I will not surrender. I must say I will not surrender. My position or my dignity. My position or my dignity. But instead I will endure. But instead I will endure. Until the final victory is won. Until the final victory is won. Hold tap. Hold tap. Call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my... Sorry, it took me a little bit longer than it usually does because I had an issue um, with getting prepared. So I apologize for that. So be patient. I'm thank you for your patience. So now let's get it. We're going to lift up our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up the glass high and we lift it up strong and we say, Ashe. From there, family, we move and we lift up our glass to our ancestors, which we toast every day at 5.45 a.m. Well, yeah, now you can catch it on Spreaker, but also it seems that it's, it's coming through, but it's not going to come through on all of the platforms. Right now, you might you be able to catch it on Kwanzaa 365 Media, on YouTube, on G&J Media, uh, on Twitch, you'll be able to catch it on GNJ dot media, of course. GNJ dot media. You also be able to catch it on Giami Journey, the private group on Facebook. 
And also, if you go to GIMEJourney.com, you can always catch us because it's going to be popping up. I'm going to find a way to pop it up on there so you can have a choice. Matter of fact, just go to GIMEJourney.com. Why you say just go to GIMEJourney.com, brother? I tell him, I say go to GIMEJourney.com because you're going to either, you're going to be able to choose between the, 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 the podcast or the actual video. Your choice, right? Right, but just get on the email list so you know when we when we stream it. So we lifting up our glass, we toasting our ancestors, right? Which we already did this morning at five forty five Eastern Standard Time, and you can get your ancestors on the list by getting on our email list. And then once you are in on the list and you have um, confirmed that you're on the list, then you could correspond with us and we could talk back and forth. And you could give us your ancestors, you can ask us questions, you get in contact with us, you can even become a, a supporter. Hell, you can go on and sign up for the free e course and still get in touch with us. But we lifting up our glass, we saluting our uh, our creator and our ancestors. No, we creating, we saluting our ancestors and we say, I say, Pioneer family, we move to the present moment. We lift up our glass. We understand the power of this moment. We are, we stand strong in this moment. We hold on to what our ancestors have passed us in this moment. And this is our time. And we're going to shine with it. We're not going to sit up here and, and waste it. So those of us that's on the journey, those of us that understand the importance of the moment, we're taking advantage of this moment. We, we as, the, as the elders used to say, we're burning that midnight oil right to do what we need to do we ain't afraid to do the work here so we're doing it and families i ask you every day i ask you to open up your reticular formation and seek out ujima i want you to talk about ujima i want you to share ujima i want you to use ujima in a sentence i want you to write it in one of your papers that need to go to your teachers i want you to even put it in an answer that don't even belong in you know what i'm saying uh, um, when you're having a discussion with people. I want you to put it in your presentations for your work. I want you to start making people feel uncomfortable because you have the audacity to live and to talk about and to share your culture, right? So we lift up our glass right now to um, um, Ujima, this moment of Ujima. For those who don't speak the language, Ujima means collective work and responsibility. The modic principle for the day is righteousness. Um, the M7 for the day is respect. The color, as you can see, is blue. And you can support GME Journey by going to merch.gnj.media and purchasing the merch, right? Um, you get your daily toaster shirt or you get your dayborn shirt. Um, uh, vibration is the hermetic principle of the day. Male name is Kwaku, female name is Akua. We lift up our glass, we salute this moment, and we say, I shame. Family, we lift up our glass and we toast what? What are we toasting right now, hot Tim? I don't remember. Oh, we toasting our children, our children's children on to infinity. We want to lift them up now so that they will be of the mind state to lift us up. We toast them in advance as they will toast us as we make our transitions. And we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. Family, we're going to lift up our glass and we're going to toast all of those folks that need um, that balanced healing energy in our tribe and our families. We want to send that energy out. We want to send that energy out. Um, so we're going to send um, those of you that want to add people to the list. Once again, that's why you get on our email list so we can correspond about this type of stuff. Hit us up. Um, I'm going to lift up Brother Quasi Lowe. He's still on the list. You know what I'm saying? We want to lift up Elder Tony West. He's still healing. We want to lift up... Um, Elder Debbie Bowie, right? And that's what we got on the list right now. We're lifting up our glass and we say, I say. From there, family, we do what we came to do. We started with the creator, we end with the creator. We say, I say, I say, I say. Man, using that Phoenix egg, man, that thing ain't gonna never hatch. I guess 10,000 years, how long is it gonna take us? That thing heavy as hell. We lift up our, we, we say, um, as in John, we say peace, power, and joy. We wish you peace, power, joy in 100 years. And as we say in John, we can't end because this is our thing. And of course, we say too black. Oh shit. Okay. Go and sip. Go and sip your. Uh, go and sip your health drink with me. Who's on the wheels of steels today? Okay. You're gonna keep it basic, keep it basic this morning, baby. I don't you know, cause you know, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get caught. Oh 
Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This is... Good job, Clee. Good job. I ain't going to be mad because you took your phone to school with you today. Even though you was supposed to leave it at home. I know you're probably watching this like 15 years later. Sitting around laughing. But you're going to rule the day, boy. <laughs> 